I sense your frustration. You're sitting there driving your car on the track, and all of a sudden, it just comes to a stop. You can't figure out why. You pick it up, you look at it, you put it down the track, you send it around, same spot. It comes to a stop again. What can you do? Well, today we'll have a solution that might help. going to do something a little bit shorter, a little bit different. Um, what I want to show you is a great solution if you're having spots in the track where your power flow just seems to be inconsistent. Now, this can be due to a lot of reasons. Maybe you have, uh, you know, bad connections at the track joints. Maybe you're seeing some deterioration of the, uh, you know, the rail material, the metal, uh, due to corrosion or some other issue, or maybe it's just coming loose. In any case, <clears throat> what I'm going to show you today is how to run copper tape over those rails to help you out. Um, there are a lot of solutions, other things you can do. You can always run jumpers on a track, uh, but running copper tape uh, and consistently on top of the rails may help eliminate the need for that. Now, the best application for this is for a permanent plastic track, i.e. something that, you know, you found a layout, that you really like and you're going to keep this for a while so you want to devote some time to laying some copper tape on top of that. Uh, taping individual sections of the track separately kind of defeats the purpose of having the single continuous or mostly continuous uh, length of tape. Uh, now this copper tape is also commonly used for routed tracks. You know if there's no uh, cut section provided for braid and you don't need magnetic attraction, a lot of people would just use uh, copper tape. Now before you start, uh, the one thing you do want to do is make sure your rails are clean, your connections are as good as you can make them before starting. Now one thing I'll mention, uh, you know, I did mine manually, but as a tip, you may want to check out Old Slot Racer had uh, developed a copper tape laying tool. Uh, it not only keeps your tape from getting tangled, but it lays it consistently down on the track, making the job a lot easier. Uh, it is still available from Greg Gobb, uh, and Greg has a site. I'm going to put the uh, link there in the video description. You can see this uh, machine there, and also in the video description, I'll show you a link to a video that shows this uh, machine being used. And, you know, if you, for 40 bucks, you know, if you value your time, um, you know, and you have a long track, it's it's well worth it. So I would suggest you check into that. Uh, I did my manually and I applied the piece uh, of tape to the side of the tape roll just to keep that tape roll from unraveling completely. And I laid it on its side and just pulled out about 16 inches in advance of where I was actually laying the tape. And uh, again, you'll see it, it's, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. It is... Uh, you know, ton of time consuming, but uh, it's definitely worth it in terms of the power and consistency you'll see on the track. And uh, now we'll get to the videos. So applying copper tape over the rails of a plastic track is a great way to, you know, increase the electrical conductivity throughout your track and smooth it out. It may help uh, some of the noise here too, but the, the tape is not that thick, so um, you know it only helps a little bit there, but. As far as getting consistency of power throughout the track, uh, it's a big help. And what you want to do is make sure you don't pull too much off at a time. Let your finger do the work and you want that tape to basically just follow the inside line of the groove as best you can. As you go around a curve, it's inevitable you're going to get wrinkles in the tape. but that's not anything you really need to worry about too much because what you'll do later on is you can get a tool like for example a, a a pen is a great tool like this one as you can see it's just kind of kind of a smooth round head and you will use that to go where there's any grooves and you can burnish any of those little wrinkles out so they become a lot less evident you know if they bother you and it just helps the tape adhere to the rails better anyway but yeah you just want to move along down the track a little bit at a time you don't want to get too much uh, of the tape off 
off the roll. Sometimes you will, uh, you know, you'll have to pull it off a little bit and go back on a little bit if you're, you know, come on online a little bit. But again, it's a, uh, it's kind of pain take, painstaking process to some extent, but it's well worth it. And you want to make sure that you don't pull too hard also on the tape when you're pulling it down the track because you want to try to avoid brakes if you can. If you do get a brake, uh, what you want to do is if there's a cut, you pop the tape and you break it. Pull the tape going in the direction that you're going. The cars will be going. Pull the tape back. Apply some new tape underneath it and make sure the old tape goes over it so you don't have the joint you know, open that you'll be hitting it all the time. It'll go in this direction. What you also want to do then is wherever you get a break, you'll take a uh, like an exacto knife. Just make a slit at each end of the covering tape of the break and then burnish that over. Again, that'll help the connection uh, to ensure that you get a consistent coverage. You want to avoid the breaks, but again, they're almost inevitable, but they won't affect you uh, really at all in the long run. So when I say burnish, you can see these little, you know, wrinkles here. So that's what you do is you take a tool like this and you want to work those out as best you can. You know, appearance-wise, it's going to look a lot better. You're not going to get them all out. But you'll get most of them out. And it will make your... It will help it here. <clears throat> the, uh, the tape. much better to the rails. As I said, it will help the appearance at all, but what you want is something not sharp, just kind of smooth. As you can see this, you know, this is just a pen, but it's a nice, you know, bullet shaped smooth edge. Here's some other sections here you can see. We're just gonna, you know, work those out as best we can. Like I said, you're never gonna get rid of them all um, but it will definitely help. And you want to go over the whole application of the copper tape like that. Now, the most important thing about copper tape is you want to make sure you get a copper tape that has a conductive adhesive. That means when you put it over the rail, whatever electric uh, you know, sources coming from the rail will pass through that adhesive into the copper tape. We want to make sure that uh, that's consistent throughout. So you can get this uh, in various widths, uh, probably quarter inch is the most typical one for doing rails like this. Uh, thicknesses may vary. I think anything from 0.7 mils to 1 mil. I don't know that thicker copper tape uh, helps uh, in, any more in terms of smoothness. Um, but both of them go on relatively the same. Uh, this particular one is a Craft Tex. It was available on Amazon at a very reasonable price. There are other brands out there, a lot of people swear by Venture Tape that's been used for years. But again, make sure that it is a conductive adhesive on that copper tape. All right, so we've got our Lane's copper tape. Let's do some testing, see how well it works. Okay, so the results are in with testing. Uh, seems like we don't have any power drop-offs in the track at all. It's nice and smooth and consistent, just the way we want it. You know, if you like this kind of uh, content and you want to see more, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, maybe recommend us to our friends. 
You can also find us we're on Facebook and uh, Instagram as well. So again, um, hopefully you found this uh, you know helpful in some way, and maybe it's an idea you want to use in your own track. So that's all for now. Looking forward to seeing you in the next episode where we'll uh, cover some ideas on uh, doing some backgrounds for your track.